Hello and welcome to a new series here on my channel. I'm going to be playing Balloons Tower Defense 5. Yes, I love this game so much. I cannot tell you. I beat every single thing on my phone a while ago, but now there's so much new stuff. There's like co-op mode and impoppable mode and all that other stuff. But if you don't know how to play this game or what this game is, I will explain it to you. Once you jump in, we're going to be playing through all the levels. So, yeah. So, there's a path. And balloons come. And you got to pop them with these towers. That's the whole game. But, we have to level them up first. Because I just installed this game. So, we're going to have to go through the basic, just started playing the app kind of things. I'm also not playing with sound on. Yeah, you got a tax shooter. I'm also not playing with sound on because the game audio will be a lot louder than my voice. And then I'll have to do a lot of editing and stuff like that. And I want these episodes to be nice and easy. Am I gonna... Uh oh. Um, tax shooter. I just realized I don't have road tax yet. Alright, so this should be pretty simple. Each episode is going to be um, either a new map or a new difficulty for the map I played next up or last episode. So next episode will be this map on medium. Maybe. I don't know. I might not start doing that until I unlock all the towers. Alright, did I? Yeah, long raid starts. Nice. So this is pretty much the whole game. But the blue balloons turn into red balloons when they're popped. And then there's green balloons that turn into blue balloons. And that goes all the way up until there's blimps. Like zeppelins. Uh oh, balloons gonna get through. So we have 90, or actually 200 health on easy mode apparently. Sniper monkey. So the sniper monkey, I'll buy one of him just because. He, it shows that his bubble's really tiny, but he actually can shoot anywhere on the map because he's a sniper and he pops through two layers of balloons before you upgrade him. So he'll be good for when that one little balloon gets by. So that's good. Round five. Um, during the later rounds, there might not be much talking just because there's not going to be much to talk about. But sharp darts, nice. I'll get that. So as you can see, you have to level these guys up by using them, uh, using them to unlock their upgrades. But eventually, we'll have all these towers unlocked. Boomerang monkey, nice. He kind of sucks though. We probably won't be using him much. Um, I think my favorite tower would have to be the glue gunner. He He's actually really cool when he's upgraded. He will like burn through all the balloons. This game seems childish, but it actually takes a lot of strategy. And this is such a fun game. I love this game so much. I have $800 to buy stuff, but... We don't really need anything. I kind of just want to upgrade the towers we have now. Road spikes, yes. They're, they're very crucial. These you just place on the ground if a balloon's going to get by, and it'll pop up to, I want to say, like 12 balloons or something. I could be wrong on that. In fact, I think I am. I almost unlocked the first upgrade for the sniper monkey, so that's good. Yep. Um, full metal jacket can pop through four layers of balloons, can pop lead and frozen balloons. Cool, so we'll be seeing lead and frozen balloons soon. I'm going to get that because it seems useful. Alright, should we get a boomerang monkey? Uh, no. We'll wait. Round 10 already, I think. What what round does it go up to? Round 50, yes. Round 50, of course. Right. Is this guy almost upgraded? No. I'm going to get another boomerang or regular dart monkey because I want to get him upgraded quickly because we're probably going to be using him and the dart tower most at least until we get the ninja monkey then that's what we're the, our that's going to be our first starting tower for most of it but I I love this game so much so I I hope this is going to be a series that I have like 200 episodes of because you can make a lot of content out of this because there's so much to do in this game you could buy land and stuff like that but ninja monkey yes i love this guy he's pretty much a dart monkey except he shoots shurikens and they shoot really fast so we'll put him here and he'll help out the dart monkey up at the front 
So eventually, once you get our towers upgraded, we'll be able to like spawn camp the balloons, and they'll pop before they could even come out the opening. So that's always fun. Yes. Okay. We're doing good. It is only easy on the easiest map on round 14, but still. All right. Next thing we're gonna get is the cannon. That's actually useful too. Most of these towers are useful for different things. Oh, nice. We got a this guy upgraded finally, the dart tower. Um, yeah, but some of the special missions, there's like some where you can only use towers that are alive. So obviously the cannon and the tax shooter machine isn't alive, and stuff like that. There's gonna be some where you can only use specific towers. There's there's really fun ones. Really, really fun, and I'm planning on doing them all. It's gonna take a long time, but uh, it should be fun. Them yellow balloons are really fast, faster than I remember them. Advanced eyesight, I think that makes him see camo, right? Um, I can't look, it doesn't give me a little thing anymore. Oh, wait, there it is. Can shoot even further and can detect tam camo, yes, so yeah, I was right. All right. So these are regen balloons, or heart balloons, or whatever you want to call them. The balloons have powerful new uh, regrowth, heart-shaped, and appearance will grow. So basically, they reinflate. If you don't pop them fast enough, they will grow up to the balloons that they started at. So you pop a yellow balloon into a blue balloon, or a green balloon, and then after a second, it'll grow back to the yellow balloon. So you got to be quick with them. They're not too much trouble. Sometimes they get a little tricky, but I think we should be good. Uh, uh oh, um, no, we're good. We're good. Okay, ice tower. That sucks. Yes. Okay. So that will make him attack faster and increase his range. Apparently, I didn't know that. Hmm. All right. So sorry about that. Uh, Max is apparently attacking my village. So that's Clash of Clans. If you don't know what I'm talking about. So. Alright, so now we have pink balloons turn into yellow balloons. It's the first time we've seen them. Razor sharp darts, that's just the same thing as the razor darts, but sharper. Alright, so black and white balloons are small but contain two pink. So instead of going to one, it makes two. Two black balloons are immune to explosives, and white balloons are immune to freezing. Zebra, zebra balloons are immune to both. So that's pretty self-explanatory. The only thing bad about them is they turn into two balloons instead of one. So that's just the next tier up. So they're not like special or anything. It's just another tier. Uh, oh, I didn't even realize I unlocked that for that guy. Wait. Oh, I didn't read. I haven't been reading them little tool tips because I'm used to just ignoring them. You can turn them off. I'm going to turn them off eventually. Just not yet. Um, so we'll upgrade this guy because why not? We got a good bit of money. Camo balloons are very dangerous since most towers cannot hit them. You need a specific upgrade to be able to detect them. So ninja monkeys can detect them once you upgrade the ninja descripple or whatever that is. And these guys could uh, attack them once you get the advanced eyesight. This guy, you see how there's like night vision goggles there. That's an upgrade to see camo balloons. We just haven't unlocked it yet. So... Glue Gunner, yes. I'm going to grab two of these guys because I want to level them up. Yes, okay. So I'm going to set one guy to target the balloons that are last and one of the guys that have them target close. Because if you have them set to attack the ones that are farther up, they will... I don't know how to explain it. It's kind of like... They'll keep shooting at the ones in front, and then they'll ignore the ones in the back. So if you have them set to attack the ones in the back, it's a lot better. They hit a lot more balloons. I noticed that while I was playing. Man. Nice. So, and the more towers you have, the quicker they'll upgrade, obviously. I think that would be pretty simple to know, but... Around 27. We're barely halfway there. Jeez. Glue gunner, glue soak. I think, what does that do actually? I probably should have read it. Um, soak through. Oh, so after you pop the balloons, they still have the glue on them. Lead balloons are slow but immune to anything sharp. They contain two black balloons. So they're pretty much a special type of balloon 
that can only be popped by stuff that's not sharp. This guy, I upgraded him to where he could pop the lead balloons. That's why they got popped so quick. So, it's cool. Oh, we got some, uh, I don't know what to call them. I never had to call them anything. Let's just call them regen balloons. If I remember that. Eventually, these glue gunners will be able to pop balloons, which will be nice. Right, seeking shurikens. So, that's for the ninja monkey. That will make it so that they will actually attract to balloons. Like, they'll uh, zip to the balloons instead of just going straight. And that's actually really useful. Alright. So. Now we're good. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. No. It's the road spikes. Oh, that hurt. That hurt. Right. We went down like 14 health. All right, we need to start uh, getting some more towers. I'm gonna get another ninja monkey over here. So let's put him like right here in the corner. Oh, he's not very upgraded though. And we get another type tower. Since these guys shoot through more layers of balloons, I'm gonna set this guy to attack strong along with this guy. Oh crap, we have lead balloons. Good thing I did that or else they would have got through. Alright, attack shoot. Even faster shooting. Can't imagine what that does. Alright, got some camo balloons, but these guys got them. They don't usually send a lot of camo balloons through, unless we're playing on hard mode. Hard mode is completely different. Easy mode, you could pass it with the basic towers. Medium mode, it's still pretty easy if you know what you're doing. Hard mode, you have to know what you're doing, because there's a couple rounds that you can't beat unless you like know they're coming monkey bunkaneer you that's a boat you need to put him in water unfortunately we don't have any water um, we could get a special tower that you have to spend in-game money for not not this kind of money but like a money you get from beating waves they're called special agents they're not towers and you could uh, buy a pool that's considered like a special agent tower and you could set him in a map that doesn't have any water. But it's we'll get into that once we once we get farther in the game because I'm not very good at explaining what that is. But a lot of people play this game, so I'm sure you'll understand. I didn't I gotta start looking for these guys that have upgrades. So we'll upgrade these guys since I don't have anything else to do with my money. Uh, the Moab is going to be coming soon. The mother of all balloons. It's a blimp. And uh, he's very hard to take out. Well, yeah, he... Night vision goggles uh, allows you to detect camo balloons. That's pretty cheap, so we'll pick that up on both of our sniper monkeys. So there's not really any strategy to this first level because we're playing on easy, on the easiest map. So, uh-oh. I'm gonna get some road spikes down just in case. No, we're good. Which is a waste of money. Monkey Ace, that's a plane. It flies through the air. Spike a pole. Catapults fire spike. Oh, that's um these guys. I actually don't like that though. Um I guess I'll get it. Because why not? So now instead of shooting a dart, he has like a catapult. Oh, what was I gonna do? Hmm. I was gonna do something, I don't know. Oh, yeah, I gotta find out a way to kill this Moab. I think I might just spam some tax. Maybe. Huh. I'm gonna get another one of these guys. Can I fit him there? Yeah, I could. He'll do good there because he's right in a corner. Super range tax. If I didn't put him there at the last second, I wouldn't have that upgrade. Ceramic balloons. Ceramic balloons are made of clay and take 10 hits to destroy. They have two rainbow balloons inside of them. Um, rainbow balloons turn into um, black and white balloons, I want to say. I think like two two of each. So this, this is just a balloon that's slightly stronger. takes more than one hit. But these sniper monkeys are destroying them pretty easily. Like two hits from the sniper monkey and then it's done because they pop through several layers. Round 45 is the first Moab. And round 50 is the last round we have to get to. And that is going to be a pain. Because there's going to be two Moabs that round. Right. So we have pretty 
basic guys. I'm gonna grab two of these guys. They kinda Super Monkey, okay. And distraction. Distraction's not really useful, but oh we'll still have to unlock it anyway. Alright, so we got rainbow. We had rainbow camo balloon not camo rainbow camouflage balloons. Blue splatter. Splatters against more balloons. But um, I should really start looking to prepare for this Moab instead of doing that. What would be good for that? I don't know. Let's get the super monkey out. I don't. I'm not a big fan of the super monkey, but we'll we'll get them anyway. Just because he'll probably be good for taking out that Moab. All right, so it's starting to get pretty hectic. They're coming pretty quick. 45. Oh, I'm sorry. 46 was the Moab round. My bad. So, oh, they're already almost to laser vision. So that's good. Wait, they upgrade laser vision before range upgrades? That's kind of weird, but okay. So we could actually get that once it gets upgraded. And then, then we'll definitely be able to take out the Moabs. Monkey Apprentice. Yes, that's very good too. Laser Blast. Sorry, it's not called Laser Vision. Even though it comes from the rise. Alright, so I got one of them. I'm going to get some... I turned my phone down. What the... So I'm going to uh, get one of them Monkey Apprentices. Yeah, here it is. Moab. Moab Class Balloons. Moabs, BFBs, and Zmogs. So, a... We'll see the BFBs and Smogs later on. Require hundreds of hits to pop. Luckily for you, they tend to move quite slowly. If any of these gets through, it's game over. So yeah, uh, that's not going very slow. Wow, it died quick. I was so worried we weren't going to be able to kill it. Right, so I'm going to have to check that text message after this round. So I'll just pause the recording. But oh man, camo balloons. I, we don't have too much to defend through a big camo balloon attack like that. Um, because these super monkeys can't detect the camel. All right, these uh monkey apprentices are really good once they're upgrading, once they're upgraded. Sorry, but for now they suck. All right, so we're at round 48. We're on the home stretch. Round 50 is gonna be either really easy or it's gonna be a bust, and we're gonna die from something stupid. Triple darts. Well, that's not gonna do much this late in the round, but. I guess this guy up here could get some triple darts. So everything's all at the beginning. So hopefully none of them get up here where there's not too many towers. But down around here, we're probably going to panic even though there's a lot of defending towers right there. Oh, God. Yeah. Okay, we're good. Like I said, all down here. Shut up, phone. God, can't see I'm trying to record. Round 15, got the monkey village. And the tax sprayer. So the monkey village is just like a beacon that will help out your towers. So grab one of these. Oh, yeah, we got to unlock it. They don't actually pop balloons, but they help your towers pop balloons quicker. Level 1, all they do is up give your towers more range. Church bells are going off, which is very unfortunate. So we're at round 50, and here comes the first Moab. But he went down pretty easy. So I think we should be good. Wait, what? Apparently we got both Moabs down, so that's good. So, got the bronze medal for completing this map on easy. 75 monkey dollars, which we could use for a bunch of different stuffs. And one token. And so, we're going to stop because I have to end this episode. And, got some more maps. So, it's a beginner map. There's a lot of maps going all the way up to... Um, I'm on a computer, so I can't really scroll too fast. It goes all the way up to, like, insane, which is going to be really hard. So, hope you guys enjoyed. That's going to be the end of this episode. Once we get farther in the series, I'll explain to you some of the more in-depth stuff, like buying land and using special agents. And in a couple episodes, we'll be able to open this box and see what it is. I'm hoping it's a new tower, because I haven't actually opened it yet. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next episode.